This is the rear view of the roll reader. There are 100 sensors enclosed in four chambers. These sensors connect through the 100 tubes to the tracker bar. The roll reader is a complex thing and it can be unfolded in order that we can use it. Currently it's in its uh, folded up condition. So we're going to record Paderewski playing his minuet. I record into Cakewalk on a PC, and here it is. I place the tracker over so that the bar is correctly aligned, I make sure. This is a small roll, but I'll still put a little bit of dynamic braking on it. The tempo is 80, so we will adjust that you can see is displayed here. And I adjust it so it's correct and then it's ready to go. We now turn on the vacuum pump, which you'll notice is happening down here. And the reading here will indicate the vacuum. We'll now turn on the piano, which I do with the tempodynamic lever because it was the only convenient lever. And we are ready to go. I press record, I press play, and here we go.
Just a few little things about the roll reader. This number here tells me the number of turns of the take-up spool. That helps me in calculating things. There's also a smaller size spool. This is a duo art spool which can be used for those rolls that require it. The tracker bar is removable. I have four tracker bars. Epico, A and B, Welty and the duo art bar. Peter, what would you do if you wanted to record a standard 88 note roll? Well, I could record that on this roll, on this bar rather, but I would miss the uh, bass, bass and treble top notes. But I find the Epico bar works well for that. I built this roll reader because I believe that reading a roll gives a more accurate and correct performance for performance on a piano. The roll scan is good for making copies of new rolls through a perforator. The roll reader reads the length of time the tracker bar hole is open, which is the information a pneumatic piano requires. So that's why we're getting such wonderful results. And as far as I'm concerned, I will be using this roll reader and for the rest of my days as I record as many rolls as I can get access to. Because once the MIDI files are recorded, I can then emulate them to play on the disc flanger. For example, here's Paderewski playing his minuet on the disc flanger. Before this roll reader, there was another roll reader, which I built in 1978. And that roll reader recorded Ampico rolls, which we're going to hear on this Ampico. But the MIDI hadn't been invented then, and I had to use a form which happens to be very suitable as an audio signal. So in order to play this Ampico, I simply use Windows Media Player. And you'll hear it as it's playing a little piece called Staccato Caprice, which is a lively little piece, probably not well known today. Well, Peter, on behalf of all the reproducing piano enthusiasts, thank you for preserving this music and making it available to people with solenoid pianos and uh, MIDI-operated pneumatic pianos like this uh, Ampico that we see here. So thank you very much, Peter Phillips. It's a labour of love.